our makeshift ram pen where hi boys how are you gentlemen Buster you want all the love you want all the love huh Buster how are you doing handsome Anyhow, this is a garden bed that got completely overgrown and figured, you know what, that's food for the animals. So we just kind of set up their pen around it so that they could come in here and mow it all down. And that's exactly what they did. So there was some hemlock in here. And we can tell it's hemlock is see this, that it looks a lot like Queen Anne's lace, but it has all these like red spots along the bottom and it's smooth whereas Queen Anne's lace would have hair there's a saying that says the queen has hairy legs and it's like got all these little fibers anyhow this was hemlock which you don't want around he was such a good boy be sad to see you go Buster he's such a good ram but they've been coming in here that was just last night that they were in here and it looked like this before so we're gonna have them clear out the rest of this garden bed before they go into their new pasture. So they'll just clear this out today. This will be done tomorrow. They'll move out there and then we will be able to tend better to this garden area that has completely gotten overgrown. This was in a previous video where we had made it a strawberry bed and that didn't work out so well after two years of severe extreme drought and so what happened is like the strawberries didn't survive and then mm -hmm. all the grasses and stuff came in actually I shouldn't say that there are some strawberries that survived I should probably get you out of there before the rams come in because um, you want to live if you've survived through everything you have and then they'll come in here and we will tend to this bed better um, that's the hope. But I am all for having your animals, if they're on the farm, have them do work for you. Think creatively. You know, this is something that would have been a huge project for us to dig out all of this ourselves and deal with all those heavy grasses. And the boys did it in one day, one evening. You did so good. I'm proud of you. And this is Lazarus. Lazarus, that you've seen in other videos, is doing quite well. He did get his... He's not even supposed to have horns. They're like the saddest little things. But he got it caught on something and tore it recently. Lazarus is our most... I don't know. I don't know if I'd say accident prone. He's this healthy little guy and super friendly, but he's almost too curious. Gets into stuff. Right, buddy? They're all very good boys. I know they say don't be too friendly with your rams, but you can't help it because they're all so good. No, you can't. I don't have anything for you. <laughs> Sorry. Buster has been the best daddy. He's gentle with the babies. He's so, so good. Stop that. <laughs> and um, he's given us some beautiful offspring. He's been very nice with the ladies. He's a proven breeder. He throws a lot of this color, but he'll also give us beautiful white, all white babies like, like this guy. Um, all of his offspring t tend to shed off their coat better, which is one of the things we were looking for, right? And then um, he was bred for extreme parasite resistance. Um, he was trained to hot wire and he was on electric fencing before he came to us. So he's actually been very well behaved when it comes to our rotational grazing program. We've never trimmed his hooves or had to worm him or given him any sort of input and he still is great. We literally have never had a problem with him. And um, his temperament is wonderful. He survives completely on pasture and keeps his condition or on old garden beds. <laughs> and keeps his condition so he's just a really he's a great ram we'll be very sorry to see him go but we're keeping too many of his daughters and so we want to send him on to another good home to 
um, just spread his goodness around, right, buddy? So we've been very, very, very happy with him. And, um, you know, buying a good ram that's going to help improve your breeding program is really worth it, in my opinion, looking for the right one and then making the investment because he's he really improved our entire flock. How many did we get out of him that are used that'll be staying here, Sean? 13, 15, 14, something like that. And um, so when you think if we had had to buy the genetics that we got from him, it would have cost a lot more than buying this great ram. And so he sure is pretty to look at too. And so he gave us a whole bunch of little beautiful babies too. Um, he stayed in with them through almost the whole lambing season. He was not aggressive or mean to them at all. He's really been wonderful. And as you can see, like, you know, we have kids around him, which I know they say don't to do, but he's always been wonderful. They're not allowed in there with him, but he's just, he's a good boy. Yes, you guys are too. <laughs> All right. So he'll be for sale. He is for sale. I'll be posting him again soon now that we're done with our season.